Hello everybody, thank you for joining me on this very blustery, stormy, haily, rainy, windy, cold evening in England. Um, this is your weekly reading and it starts for the 1st of May all the way to the 7th of May. I think I've got that right. The 1st of May. Uh, sorry, no, the 2nd of May to the 8th of May. I knew I'd got something wrong somewhere. Um, Beltane is soon. Yay! Um, I was planning on actually decorating this before I did the weekly reading, but I've got a pretty busy weekend coming up with, um, well, readings and going out to do readings. <laughs> And then I have to meet up some friends because I do have a social life when I remember it and stuff like that. So I thought I would see what next week is bringing, bearing in mind we are going into Mercury retrograde. Um, I think it was shadowing last week when I forgot to do the weekly reading for last week, so I apologise for that. But as you may know, I'm still recovering from the operation. I am fine, don't worry, I just can't lift any things. Um, and I don't mean to go on about it, it's just something, one of those things. Um, let me have a look now for you though. So we've got the Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards and these are by, if I can remember, Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. I do heartily recommend anybody having this in their collection. I've been a fan of Josephine Wall's artwork for years without even knowing what her name was. Um, I first got a print of hers in New Yorker while I was on holiday and it was all glittery and shiny and I loved it. And then about 10 years later, I figured out who it was because it was these beautiful cards. So without further ado, just to remind you that the meditations are on coming. Um, I'm going to, I'm still in the process of writing one of them, um, but I'm going to record and get the videos done for you soon. Also, thank you for those who are subscribed and who are new to the channel. If you hear anything like tappy tappy, that's the hail washing against my window. Um, but yes, thank you ever so much for doing that. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. If it is a reading you'd like, I do all the readings here. Video, audio, email, Skype. Well, maybe not Skype here, but there's another altar downstairs where I do Skype. Um, I do spirit guide readings and everything. The link for those is down below. And thank you to my Patreon contributors. That means the world to me. I'm hoping to get another tarot deck soon. Soon, soon, soon. Um, but maybe not while well, Mercury is in retrograde. Because we all know what happens. I bought the Shadowscape Tarot and all they did was send me the guidebook and they didn't send me the cards. I got a refund and they didn't even want the book back but I'm like, well, I can't really do a reading with a book. Okay. Um, I mean, look, that was bought during Mercury retrograde. So that's what kind of happens during Mercury retrograde. Come on, give me a little bit of a... Give me a little bit of a showing as to what Beltane and the supposed month of spring is going to bring. No, not those. Okay, these. Oh, there's two. There we are. So those two are magnetically drawn together. I love stormy weather, but not when it's freezing cold. Wow, lovely, very important. Okay. Um, what are you guys up to? What are we all up to? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yay, I'm very happy about this. I am getting a good feeling. Okay. So, we have Keep Your Dreams Alive, beautiful card. I wish the lighting in here was better, hang on a second, let me just get my torch on. Yeah. Oh, glary, but there you go. Keep Your Dreams Alive. Make a decision. Make the decision to keep your dreams alive, that's what I've just heard. And then you will get the ideal course of action drawn to you. Okay, I'm going to turn this off now because it's glowing. But I wanted you to see the cards in all their glory. Okay, so. <coughs> <coughs> oh, right. Keep your dreams alive. That is very important. For those of us who have become disillusioned, 
and there are many. I think the best course of action, which is that, is to remind yourself that you are not here to serve everyone else's purpose. And this is very specifically for the few of you who have been taken advantage of recently. And also, it is very specific for those of you who are kind of like, go to work, I earn the money, I exist. That is not what you should do. Oh, I accept failure. No, don't be so silly. I mean, I know a lot of people, friends of mine, who are sick of their jobs. I think maybe there's about five or ten friends who are sick of their jobs. You know how many who are looking to change and actively doing something about changing those jobs? One. One out of that many are looking to take their dream of becoming a teacher or a professor instead of hauling paint all day and they're working on that dream very slowly but they're still working on it and they're getting somewhere and the rest are just kind of accepting this as oh well this is my lot no you need to keep your dreams alive creativity and oh just kind of this the, the origin source of all creation that's what i've just heard is creativity you can't have a creation without creativity like for instance if you believe in the bible and if you believe in that god created the world in seven days he had to have the idea to create the world didn't he isn't this the biggest original idea ever and all the little parts and thousands of species and the everything that came through isn't that an original idea for those of you who don't believe in that area because i am aware that there are some of you then isn't the idea that there is something bigger out there or isn't the idea that we have come here from either tiny evolutionary morsels and that we are sharing in one universal consciousness and as well expand on that keep your dreams alive don't just be going well i can't do it the only reason your dreams are not out there is because that you maybe have not worked hard enough or that it wasn't meant to happen at that point those are the only two scenarios okay either you didn't do enough when you could have done which can be remedied or it was not universally meant at this moment but just because of that does not mean that you can just shut your dreams away in a box you need to make a decision this week reflect go inside see if you can draw up that energy on that dream that you had and start to, to reconnect with it you could actually find that the dream doesn't make sense to you anymore but it actually morphs into something different for instance this morphs into this and there's a more fuller picture so you could actually find that what fit you 10 years ago may have morphed or added different aspects and there are different ways of going about it now it could even have been three months ago maybe you got a rejection letter from somebody and you thought right i'm going to shove my book in a box i hate it don't do that keep going write a new book don't just say oh well i tried once that's it please keep going because endurance is rewarded you know perseverance is rewarded it's just i think there was something that what do you call an author no what do you call a writer that never gave up published basically so if you think of it in that respect to everything apply everything what do you call a singer who blah 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 you know so this seems to be that you once you've made a decision and once you've understood like what kind of energies you're working with you will then have the ideal course of action to go out and do that now if your ideal dream is to become a peace person or a person of peace or donate to charity or work with a charity or you know you we given I think the ideal course of action but if it's no personal gains or something more closer to home that you're looking for I think that you will decide on the best course of action for instance going back to the 
friend who wants to become a teacher and professor, they are now going through the different stages of looking at their options and looking in what state that they're going to move to potentially and looking into what they need for certain aspects of it and you know what the deal is basically. So you are going to gradually get there. But okay, they're saying me they're telling me to give you the reason for this process and why you are being called to do this. And that is basically because the world needs you. Um <laughs> Alright, so you know the story of Alan Rickman, his first film role was at 42. He was a graphic designer until he was 30 or something like that, and then he went into acting. I believe Vera Wang was turned down from everything, and she made her first dress at 40, and look where she is now. There are best-selling authors that didn't pick up a pen or go to a computer until they were 60. This, uh, so many originals are leaving us. So many originals are leaving us. In England, it was Victoria Wood recently, a wonderful comedian. Prince recently, Barry earlier on, Alan Rickman. We had another uh, comedian here leave us called Ronnie Corbett. Um, Titans, landmarks are leaving us. So we need to fill that void however we can. Even if you want to become an accountant, it doesn't matter if you don't think it's in the creative field. It's something that you're putting your creative energy into and your hard-earned energy that is feeding back into the universal consciousness and helping everybody else as well as your own. And we need to become more determined to our sole purpose why we were here. Even if it's just one evening a week doing something that you love. The happiness that drives you and that you feel doing that will be paid back to you as soon as it goes around the universal consciousness. I can't stress that enough. You know, if you've ever thought of an idea and then you've seen it on TV or somebody's just talked about it the next day or you're like, that's universal consciousness. That's because you're picking up on signals and you're also sending the signals out. So you need to start keeping your dreams alive, making a decision, an ideal course of action. For those of you who are working on your dreams no matter what and you're still striving this is your rewards coming in and you, you this is basically confirmation that you're doing good and saying yes good right course of action I'm just asking if there's anything else I need because they were very impassioned and I think that's it. <laughs> so it's, a, it's me being your personal cheerleader. It is me waving my pom-poms and saying, this is what you need. This is the energy that you need to create and embrace when it comes to you. Don't just go, nah, I'm too old for it now. Or, nah, I'll never be. Negativity does not breed positivity. It just breeds more negativity. And I don't mean to sound like a hippie when I say that, but it's true. Get work on your solar plexus or get work on your root chakras. Do some energy cleansing meditations whenever you need. Get a reading from myself if you need one. Um, but seriously, you need to focus on this because the universe wants you to do it. Okay? I think, again, with many readings before prior, the universe loves you and the universe wants you to trust it. I trusted the universe very recently. It did deal me a quite a, an annoying little blow recently but I understand the reasons behind it. Um, it wasn't like it was... I mean they basically took something away from me and I was like okay well that's fine I know that this was there for that time because I needed to do XYZ and now it's been removed. It does work in mysterious ways, um, but I understood the reasons for it. I was like, okay, I'm not putting up a fight, I'm not squealing, I'm not going, me, me, me. It's okay, I understand that. So, I think it's just basically saying, yeah, you, you've got this. You've got this kid, you're all right. And as always, if you need me, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and email. All the links to get in touch with me are down below. Okay, so my very many blessings to you, this wonderful Beltane. Use the spring energy, the May energy, doesn't matter if it's Mercury retrograde, 
let's get through this together and let's get through this first week of May how we mean to go on. Take care everybody, love you all.